Hello friends. Today we will start with the first chapter of Effect Java, which is creating and destroying objects. The first object, the first item in this chapter is consider static factory methods instead of constructors. So, what is st static factory method? As the name suggests, factory method which is used to create something. So here we are creating objects. So for example, let's see. As you, one thing I need to point out, the many of the things which are mentioned in the effective Java can be seen in JDK implementation itself. Let's start with static factory method implementations examples in JDK itself. Let's consider the class boolean. So here in the boolean class we have a method such as value of. So it is taking a parameter as boolean and depending on the parameter value it is returning an object of type boolean which is having a value of either true or false so in fact it is returning an object it is creating an object so here value of is a static factory method Okay, so what are the advantages of the static factory methods? The first advantage is unlike constructors, they have names. So let's take Boolean class only. So here, if you consider the constructor, for constructor of any class, it should have the name of the class itself. So we can't have any other name than the class name. But for the static factory methods, we can have customized names depending on the type of object return. And we can have the different set of parameters also. So what is the second advantage? Unlike constructors, they are not required to create a new object each time they are invoked. So here, every time we call a constructor, it will create a new object. Every time we call this, it will create a new object of boolean. But if you call a static factory method, it may or may not create a new object so we have the freedom of choosing to create a new object or to return an existing object here in this case we are not creating new object we are returning already created object so based on the case we can have the freedom of creating an object in case of static factory methods so what is the third advantage unlike constructors they can return an object of any subtype of their return type so in case of constructors it is always guaranteed and fixed that it should create an object of the class so here we are creating type boolean so we cannot create any other type any other subtype of this class but in case of static factory methods we have the freedom of creating subtype of creating an object of subtype of the class let's see an example for this we have a class collections so here we will have a lot of methods which create different types of collections. Let's see one of the 
collection which is creating an subtype of a collection let's see this method unmodifiable list so this is a static method which is actually returning a list so it's a static factory method as you can see actually it is returning a uh, object of type unmodifiable random access list or unmodifiable list depending on some condition but the return type is list which is the super type so here we have the freedom of returning a subtype of list so th that is the flexibility that static factory methods offer they reduce the verbosity of creating parameterized type instances actually this advantage is no more existing with java 7 and 8 and the above versions of java since we can create an object with parameterized types without much verbosity Let's see an example. So I am creating a map which is having key and value of type string. So as you can see, it's giving a compilation error. Okay, this is for the import. So, for let's see what is my compilation level. As you can see, my compilation level is 1.6. For 1.6, it is not allowed to give the brackets without the parameter types. So, I need to specify the types. So, here Joshua talks about the verbosity of giving these parameter types which is actually evident from the types given here so this is not required in 1. java 1.7 and above versions so we can actually remove this so it is still giving a compilation error if i change my compilation level to say suppose 1.8 So, there is no compilation error now. So, Java has improved. Since 1.7, it has removed the verbosity of specifying the parameters types. So, what, is the, what are the disadvantages of static factory methods? The first one which Joshua talks about is the classes without public or protected constructors cannot be subclassed. So, if we are any class are using the static factory method, then there is no need of specifying the public constructor. In that case, we cannot have subclass of that class unless we use the reflection. So, that is based on the case, it can be a disadvantage or it can be a boon. So, by this, we are restricting the clients of the class to extend it. Another disadvantage is they are not readily distinguishable from other static methods. So, static factory methods doesn't have any particular names or any particular strict rule that it has to follow. So, they are not distinguishable from other methods but in general we have naming conventions for static factory methods depending on the type of parameter or is it creating a new instance or is it 
returning already created instance we use different naming conventions such as value of which we saw in boolean case of get instance new instance get type new type as name suggests new instance will create the new instance every time get instance it will create new instance if it is not created otherwise it will return existing one of is the short form of value of get type new type similar to get instance new instance but they are returning type of an interface they may return the subtype of the interface which is returned so in summary static factories and public constructors both have their own advantages and disadvantages but static factory methods are most preferred based on the cases where you want to create a new object or where you don't want to create a new object or where you want to create a specialized object so both have the advantages and disadvantages we need to see case by case basis and take a conscious decision on this so we'll see you in the next item thank you